Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. This is Bharat and today in this video we are going to see skeletal system. If you want this uh, PDF, you can go to the uh, description box. There is a link given below and you can download the skeletal system, not only skeletons, skeletal systems PDF notes, but also the about all the other topics in the biology friends almost i have covered 18 18 topics of biology notes and it is there in the description box you can download the pdf you can find another link uh, which is of uh, sunil sar's physics lectures on previous year mcqs of around eight to nine lectures are uploaded in anacademy.com and you can go through those videos which is of very useful friends those link is also given in the district description box okay skeletal system what is a skeleton any hard part that we can see in our human body it is called skeleton for some organisms including man it is inside the body for other organisms and some living beings it is outside the body so there are two types of skeletal system one is exoskeleton and endoskeleton what is exoskeleton in the name itself suggests it is exo exo means outside so in insects we can see the hard part is on the insect on the body of the insect that is chitin layer friends in snails and pearls you can see the shell and that is the skeleton for snail and pearl oysters friends and those are made up of calcium carbonate and some other parts of our body has some outside features of skeletal system something like hair nails hoofs of horse horns of cattle and scales and of fishes and feathers of pigeons or birds friends okay so oh, it's it's different in different animals what is endoskeleton and in, in endoskeleton is the bony framework of vertebrate animals that is backbone containing animals and it will be inside the body so it is called endoskeleton in fish we can see the skeletal system amphibians reptiles birds and mammals we can see the skeletal system which is inside that is endoskeleton friends human skeletal system and the very important bit we, which we have to remember is that the total bones total number of bones in newborn baby is 300 in number and total bones in an adult is 206 friends where are the remaining 94 bones actually friends at the baby birth there are 300 bones later on that bones fuse together and forms a single bone friends so most of the bones combine to form a single bone and uh, this number reduces to 206 friends okay and if we come to cartilage is also called soft bone which we can see the softest part of the bone is known as cartilage bone and we can see clearly in nose external ears trachea epiglottis which is between the joints friends now what is the function of skeletal system the bones are the storehouse of calcium the bone gives a framework and protection to main vital organs friends skeleton important for movement because of the skeletal uh, skeleton system that is because of the bone we can have locomotion friends that is movement of the body and ear bones are very important for conduction of sound you know that ear has the shape friends that shape 
that shape gives friends this assist for hearing the sounds friends okay the long bone such as bone marrow contains hemopoietic tissues hemopoietic tissues friends this helps in production of hemoglobin and rbc cells friends okay and long bones also store fat in the form of yellow fat friends yellow color and the tissues which assist is called adipose tissue this fat stores in the adipose tissue friends so if we see some of the parts of our body that is a skeleton the head part is called this head part is called cranium friends cranium and the lower jaw lower jaw is called mandible and you can see a cervical vertebrate clavicle is our shoulder blade friends which we can see on our body there is a, a flat horizontal uh, blade like bone which is there at the shoulders friends and there is a scapula which joins the four limbs and lungs friends okay and this uh, we can see here sternum sternum in the is in the thoracic cavity friends thoracic region it's it will be it, it gives support for the lungs and heart friends and the upper part of the four limb is called humerus okay friends here we can see two bones in the lower forearm one is radius the other one is ulna friends and the wrist bone is called carpals and our finger bones is called meta and the palm palm region we have metacarpals and our fingers are called finger bones are called phalanges phalanges friends okay so you can see similar similarly in the hind limbs that is legs the biggest and thickest bone in our body is femur friends okay and our knee part bone is called patella okay friends here in four limbs we can see two bones in our lower forearm that is radius and ulna and similarly there is tibia and fibula in our legs friends okay and carpals in hand that is wrist bone it is same as tarsals that is ankle bone friends and meta tarsals is in the form palm foot foot of the leg and phalanges are the finger bones friends here okay in cranium and face face has that is in head has 29 bones friends and these contain forehead eight bones face 14 bones ear has each ear has three bones that is malus incus and stapes and we have another bone called below the tongue there is a hyoid bone okay friends you know that human is a in human we have vertebral column friends in baby it is 33 vertebral bones are there in adult there are 26 vertebral bones are there what are they we will see friends in neck we have seven cervical vertebrae it is called we have seven bones in the same way in adults also it has seven bones in back of the chest in thoracic vertebrae we have 12 bones is where is th thoracic vertebrae thoracic vertebrae is something like near the sternum friends in sternum behind the sternum there is some vertebrate you can see here there is some vertebrate you can see here 
this is called vector branch is backbone friends in the back of sternum there is this part of vertebrate is there which part back of the chest thoracic vertebrae it has 12 bones in child as well as in adult abdomen near abdomen we have lumbar vertebrae it has five vertebrate columns and pelvis we have five bones uh, in child and in tailbone there are four bones friends but in as the baby grows and becomes an adult these bones fuse together and form only one bone friends okay this five is fused into one in the same way this tailbone is fused into one bone friends so this is the way this 300 bones comes down to 206 bones friends in adult each hand four limb that is leg hind limb has 30 bones each and totally limbs alone has 120 bones in right hand we have 30 bone in left hand we have 30 bones in right leg 30 bones and left leg 30 bones and so totally it forms 120 bones friends so what are the uh, what are the parts of the bones if of the limbs in four limbs we can see humerus upper arm upper arm bone ra radio and ulna and similar to that in leg we can see tibia and fibula femur is thigh bone carpals is the wrist bone tarsal is the ankle bone metacarpal bone is palm bone metatarsals are sole bones and finger bones what are there what what are those called phalanges phalanges you can see here phalanges here also phalanges okay friends okay so and some other names for the bones are kneecap bone is called patella this this kneecap bone is not present in the four limbs friends in hand there is no uh, kneecap bone similar to kneecap bone friends okay collar bone it is called clavicle and shoulder blade bone is called scapula chest bone is called sternum which is in the thoracic cavity and ribs you can see that there are 12 pairs of ribs uh, which safeguards the lungs and the uh, last pair of ribs safeguards the or protects the kidneys friends For joints there are immovable joints and movable joints joints helps to move one bone against the other bone okay friends there are two types of joints immovable joints and movable joints and some of the movable joints are skull and head in skull and head whereas the lower jaw mandible is movable friends in movable joints there are four types and some of them are ball and socket joint hinge joint pivot joint and gliding joint friends in ball and socket joint ball it consists of a round movement in all directions and the other bone like this friends so this bone rotates around this ball friends okay the, for example is the shoulder shoulder you can with the help of the shoulder there is a ball and our hand rotates in all the 360 degrees mostly 360 degrees and this is called ball and socket joint friends okay and the other example is hip joint in hinge we can have only one side movement of our bone friends if we take elbow the upper part of the forelimb is stagnant and the uh, lower part of the forelimb can rotate or move in only one angular direction friends we can't bend on the other side in the same way knee also we can bend towards the back sides back side our leg can be bent back side but not front side friends okay in the same way fingers 
toes and lower jaw friends okay the other joint is pivot joint this is based on the central axis it can move side to side friends whereas its neck is acts like a pivot joint and our head can move side to side friends okay the other joint is gliding joint in gliding joint we can see slip movements friends and the examples are carpal bone and tarsal bone with the help of this carpal bone and tarsal bone our fist can be rotated with the help of slip movements friends with the help of fist our fist fist can be moved that is our palm can be moved with slip movements in the same way with the help of ankle we can move our foot in all the directions arthrology what is arthr arthr means joints friends arthrology is study of joints arthritis arthritis means study of diseases of joints friends okay so the, there are three main type of diseases which attacks the bones or these diseases pertains to the bones osteoarthritis bone joint in bone joints there is synovial fluids friends if there is any problem pertaining to synovial fluid then it is called osteoarthritis if this synovial layer is damaged then it is called rheumatoid arthritis if there is a deposition of uric acid in the crystal joints at the at the joints if there is uric acid crystal is deposited then it is called gouty arthritis friends bone connects if one bone and another bone are connected by connected it is connected by ligaments friends ligament muscles if one bone and muscle are connected it is connected by tendons okay friends this is very very important these two bits has potential to come in the rrb exam or any other exam you can see here ligaments connects bone with another bone tendons connects bone with muscle that you have to remember friends the largest bone of the body is femur that is a thigh bone upper part of the hind limb that is leg the smallest bone that we can see is stapes bone which is of the ear friends thank you friends if you want to download this biology notes not only this this topic i have covered almost all the topics which is which is given in the description box the link is given in the description description box you can go there and buy that notes friends thank you